As you're all aware, 10 days ago, HBO finally released its first official trailer for the upcoming and final season of Game of Thrones. And since then, the people of the community have already analyzed it bit by bit. What I'm focusing on is the introduction of a fresh new character who goes by the name of Harry Strickland. So who is Harry Strickland? In the books, Harry Strickland is the captain general of a mercenary army called the Golden Company. The Golden Company is a famous uh, sword army which was founded by a Targaryen bastard called Ego Rivers. He, along with a bunch of lords and nobility, escaped the Seven Kingdoms after the failed First Blackfire Rebellion. The Golden Company is the most reputable sellsword army, but despite them being mercenaries, they are famous for their honor and keeping their word. They have never broken any contract, and their pride in that is reflected in their motto, which is, Our word is good as gold. Now back to Harry Strickland. Harry Strickland is a plump middle-aged man with a big round head, grey eyes and grey balding hair. He doesn't have an imposing physique nor charisma. He is not brave and is almost cowardly. Something which is in contrast to the characteristic and reputation of the Golden Company. According to the news, Mark Risman has been cast to portray Harry Strickland. When we look at his photo and his brief appearance on the trailer, we quickly realize that his appearance does not resemble that of Harry Strickland of the books. Which is why I suspect the Harry Strickland of the show is a blend of Harry Strickland from the books and John Connington. So who is John Connington? John Connington is an exiled lord, formerly the head of House Connington and the hand to the Mad King. The Mad King exiled him after John Connington lost the Battle of the Bells to Lord Robert Baratheon during his rebellion. John Connington, a fierce warrior, used to be the closest friend of Rhaegar Targaryen. After his exile, he joined the Golden Company and quickly rose in the ranks. After several years with the Golden Company, John Connington is approached by Illyria Mopatis and Lord Varys, who inform him of a secret that Egon Targaryen, son of Rhaegar, had survived the sack of King's Landing and he is in need of a mentor and protection. Following a plan devised by Varys, John Connington disgraces himself after he is caught stealing from the treasury of the Golden Company. He is then kicked out of the mercenary army, which allows him to unite with Egon Targaryen as his bodyguard and mentor. Now that we know who Harry Strickland is or might be, the next important question is what role will he play in the upcoming season and how will he impact the story and the ending. Harry Strickland of the books, his father and his grandfather have all lived in exile, so it's hard to gauge his allegiance towards any house within the Seven Kingdoms, which means it's safe to say that his loyalties lie with the Golden Company and whoever owns the contract. Even if we assume Harry Strickland still holds some kind of personal preference and favor towards the House in Seven Kingdoms, he definitely would not favor House Targaryen, as the true Targaryen line was the reason House Strickland was forced into exile and kicked out of their own home. Now, per my initial theory that Harry Strickland of the show is just Harry Strickland by name and he's actually John Connington, then that would make things much more intriguing in the upcoming season, since John Connington's true allegiance is clearly lying with House Targaryen due to his close relationship with Rhaegar. Now, to put the depth of his relationship in perspective, it's worth mentioning that George R. R. Martin a while ago stated that one of the characters in the books is gay, and if speculations are correct, he meant John Connington. The natural conclusion would be that he was in love with Rhaegar Targaryen, and this would also explain why he was critical of Elia Martel and believed she was not worthy to be Rhaegar's wife. Now, as of the end of season 7 and start of season 8, the Golden Company is an employee of House Lannister, and specifically Queen Cersei, who is at open war with House Targaryen and Daenerys which means the Golden Company, led by John Connington, is pitted against John Targaryen, son of Rhaegar, and Daenerys Targaryen, Rhaegar's sister. To make matters worse, as things stand right now, House Lannister and his biggest ally, House Greyjoy, seem to either be ignoring or liking the idea of a horde of zombies attacking the North, and seem to be oblivious to the threat that the others pose 
towards the future and survival of humanity, or at least humanity in the Seven Kingdoms. Thus, I believe Harry Strickland, aka John Connington, and the Golden Company will have a bittersweet decision to make either to keep their word and stay true to their contract and watch hordes of the undead sweep through the seven kingdoms, killing everything living in their path, or sacrifice their pride and soil their perfect record by breaking their word and change allegiances. My personal prediction is that John Connington will end up being a kingmaker with the Golden Company changing sides at the last minute to help humanity defeat the undead and put John Targaryen on the Iron Throne. So this was a brief introduction to an introduction of a fresh new character to the show and how he and his army would affect the outcome of the war. What do you think is the role of Harry Strickland and the Golden Company in the upcoming season? Share your thoughts in the comment section below. Thank you for taking the time to watch this and please don't forget to subscribe.